Bravo, Alpha, Lima, Charlie. So James and I took a couple days off in Oregon. Needed to relax, got a hotel, slept a bunch, took some good showers, we're, we're ready. But today we're gonna be fishing in Washington with Addicted Fishing. So it's Mike and Marlon. We're gonna go do a little bit of bank fishing today and try to catch some big old bass. in Richfield, Washington. We're on the Columbia River right now. This is Marlin, and we got Mike right here from Addicted Fishing. They were nice enough to bring us out, James and I on the water, and we're gonna do a little bit of smallmouth fishing, some largemouth fishing, and Jordan is out looking for some morel mushrooms right now, so we're gonna link up with him later and see how he did, but what's the plan for the day? Give us Basically, the rundown. So what I'm thinking is we'll kinda, of, there's a few different rock piles in here, and I just wanted to see if there's any smallmouth hanging on them. We have a 55 degree water temperature, so I have a feeling they're thinking move up into these shallow rocks right now. So we'll throw some cranks around here and if we can't find them, we'll go ahead to the island and go get you on some largemouth. Oh yeah. Let's go. We are unloading the boat. We're gonna go on a little hike. Hopefully we can catch some fish. We haven't fished in a couple days, so this is it's exciting and it's different. So and also James's weather report for today. See high is 70 degrees, it's about 63 right now. Not really many clouds in the sky. Should be good, not a lot of wind. Don't freaking touch me, bro. Dude, the pond used to be right here. This looks sick. Here. Oh, dude, that was a, that's a really good fish. Good. Oh my God, look at that thing's mouth. That's a chunk, Mike. First fish of the day. Whoa, that's a chunk, Mike. Dude. Solid fish, man. Oh, They're pretty small. Dude, that is a solid fish. Pretty that's pretty small, out. too, Matt. So just a couple days ago, I got my PV, which was five. That's gonna, I think, was it five even? Yeah. I think, oh, that's gonna be close. I think it's gonna be over five, though. James saw that big fish, immediately went over and said, I'm getting a big one. He's gonna break his PB too. Oh yeah, that's over five. Dude. Bingo. What is it? Five, four, eight. Hell Dude. Yeah, man. Two nice PBs job, in a week. Mike. Dude, that's insane. I literally just told the guys, we're gonna come out here and break my PB. First first fish. Yep. I think you're gonna break it again. That's oh, awesome. Let's do it, dude. Oh, Dang. that's sick. Here she goes. Look at her right there. 20 minutes hey James, later. Walking that way, everyone keep in mind there's a ton of beaver holes. I fell up to like here in like a beaver hole. So just be careful when you're walking through that taller grass. All right, so we're currently just working our way down this bank of this pond or lake, throwing Senkos. There's a bunch of grass, it's really shallow. Clear water too, it's really nice. Perfect for like a frog or a Senko. Come on baby, need that first fish. Where's she at? This is so freaking cool. I've never done any sort of waiting for bass like this. Literally just working my way down the bank through the grass. This is very, very neat. I might need a little push. Oh. James took the kayak out. He's just kind of drifting down that left bank, which you said has a little bit more of a flat up to it, right? Yeah, it, typically that's where I think most of the fish like to spawn because it flats up and then drops off. So basically what happens is we're on an island and what has happened over the years is the Columbia has raised up and gotten super high on flood years. This whole pond has flooded. Largemouth got stuck in it and then as it came down, the largemouth have stayed in here and just lived in here for years. and. There's some fatty, giant, big Columbia River largemouth in the backwater. Pretty much doing the same thing as I was earlier, just working my way down this grass line, making the cast out past the edge, and then bringing the bandito bug up into it. Just slowly kind of hopping it along. Let's see what I hear. That's a decent fish. You see him? He's like sitting right here. The problem is we're all just too close. That's, yeah, she's very, she's aware. She'll eat if we give her some time. Garbage. Uh, I found a really nice bucket and uh, 
a cool little piece of artwood. And a couple picks. Lots, picks. lots of uh, stinging nettles. No mushrooms. I found one dead false one. I don't think they're up yet. Hmm. Let's go see if we can get her. I had to bump it into her and I like paused it. She spun around and ate it. God, again, dang it. Oh no! Why? I shortened up the Senko. Took like an inch and a half off of it. She's still there. She might eat it again. I don't know. Here we go. <laughs> I worked on this fish for a little bit of time. She ate probably three or four times. Finally hooked her. I had to go ahead and shorten the Senko up a bit. So it's normally a five inch Senko and I just took like an inch and a half off of it so she'd eat it. But that is a healthy fish. That's at least five and a half. Just, oh, stud. Beautiful fish. That was so sweet. awesome beautiful fish first fish in Washington awesome we're gonna let her go back to her bed thanks for filming dude yeah awesome. as we've been out here for a few hours we've caught two fish both over five pounds haven't seen a lot of fish up shallow but the first fish of the day, he caught it within the first like 10 casts, solid five and a half. And we thought it was just gonna be like a banger of a day, but turned out to be a little bit tougher than we expected. We're not seeing a ton of fish up shallow. The one that I did catch, I don't, I mean, I don't know if it was on a bed or not. It was hanging around that area pretty tight, but I didn't see any sign of a bed. It might've just been under that cut in the little bit deeper water, but I mean, I'm pretty happy with it. This place is beautiful. This style of fishing is phenomenal. I mean, it's gorgeous out here, but we'll probably give it a couple more hours, try to see if these fish move up a little bit and then move along. Washington has been awesome. Like I never get to do this style of fishing. It's very different. It's very cool. But the fish that I caught, I also caught on a Senko. It was on a lighter Texas rig. This is a quarter ounce tungsten weight. 4 EWG hook, and obviously this isn't a Senko, but I was throwing a five inch Senko. I had to bite like an inch and a half off of it because that fish picked it up twice and it gave me one more opportunity and I landed her, which is pretty sick. I mean, that's a solid fish anywhere. And I especially think it's a super solid large mouth for Washington state, super stoked. All right, well, we got off the water back here at Marlin's house. He's kind enough to let James and I crash here. And you guys gotta check out Addicted Fishing's studio. Look at this freaking place. What's up, boys? Hey, check out your presents over here. Presents? I'm getting stacks together. Oh my God, what? Dude, we're set. Getting you dialed in, dude. Thanks, man. James, how do you feel up there? You look like you, uh... Oh, is that the weather table? Oh, the weather table. I guess we need a green today? screen in the background. <laughs> and it would just be playing like Mad Max. Like, this is the weather for today. <laughs> you know, 
so cool. You troll so it. Different. How long did it take you to make this area? There's just been it's like an of, ongoing it's project. It's kind of been an ongoing like project. Gotcha, change it all yes. the time. Yeah, it, we mess with it and change it all the time. That's my biggest bass it's ever. It's right super there. cool. My How big was that? That's, I mean, nine pounds, six ounces. Massive. So today was, it was tough. It was tough, but we caught two fish, two solid fish. I mean, especially for Washington, right? I missed I mean, one. And, oh yeah, you did miss the big one on the frog. Yeah. But we had two fish over five and a half pounds. I mean, you can't that's complain about more that. than we could have asked for, <laughs> yeah. for sure. We're getting out tomorrow on the Columbia River. If we're going after some smallmouth, we'll be doing some of that. Smallmouthing tomorrow is what we're doing for small sure. Smallmouth. Pulling small crankbaits. I'm stoked. But Should be good. Make sure you check out Addicted Fishing. I'm going to leave them linked down in the description below. Go subscribe to them. Check out their stuff. It's definitely different stuff than what we do, which is cool. So go check out the variety. Salmon. Salmon, steelhead, yeah. bass. We do it all, but a lot of it's salmon, steelhead centric. We got some cool stuff. Check it out, guys. That's where we're going to leave you. We'll see you tomorrow in Oregon. Tomorrow's Oregon, right? Yes. Oregon, State 29.